get, get, get this thing away. This thing! I don't know what this is, this just came in the, the mail today. Hello, welcome back to another video of mine, and I think this will help me in the long run. So if you like my videos, I do playing stuff, I do too many stuff on this channel. This channel is basically a passion project of mine. And this is a phone stabilizer uh, my mom gave me as an early birthday gift, so thanks mommy! Okay, there's a lot of photos at the back, but you guys are here for the actual review, so I'm just gonna do this. This is the DJI OM4SE. What the heck did I just read? Mama? So we open up the box and over here we have a instructions panel but we don't need that this looks like uh, those like temperature monitors thing you know you go to a public area you have to scan for the covid you know so this thing on the box is supposed to be a stand so you can attach it to your stabilizer this thing you can leave it on the table so we're gonna do that later it's 2022, we also have a USB-C, USB-C, I don't know what I'm saying, I, it's just 001 reference. Okay, here's the main stabilizer thing. I actually pretty much have to read the instructions because I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, this is the main component to attach your phone to. It has a, quite a sturdy feel. Okay, we're gonna follow the instructions right here, like a good person will do, okay? So first, we're gonna need a decoy phone, it's because I'm using my phone to record this now. Here is an old phone case, it's disgusting! So the first step on the box is to attach it to your phone. I don't have a spare phone and my sister refuses to give me hers. I thought I attached it too hard. The next thing we wanna do is... Hold on. The next thing we gotta do is to attach it to the main stick stabilizer thing. Okay. It's supposed to be connected here, but I seriously... Stop it! Stop! The last step we have to do is to lift it up, attach it, so that's the thing, and we have to click an M button. I don't know what... Oh, so I click the M and these lights start flashing, so that's cool. Stop! Okay, now it's kinda working. Okay. Whoa! Okay, this thing runs on battery, so I'm attaching it to its USB-C now. And I'm gonna go hands out one hand and... You know what? Like, if you really wanna shake the camera, you really gotta like try if you guys see most of my vlog videos uh my videos are like quite shaky and this thing is stabilizing that pretty well actually we also have this joystick you can use to control the angle whoa that's cool oh no we good we good oh no 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 up up ah much better Okay, so right now, I'm in the bathroom right now because I have a good mirror. Sorry if the mic quality is bad, but I'm gonna show you how it really looks like. Okay, so this is the actual stand look. So you have to hold down this button at the back here, if you guys can see. Hold it, and then use your joystick on the stick to turn it wherever you want without your hands moving a single bit. We also have this stand right here. So we're gonna attach it to the stick and see how it works. I attach it to a stick and I'm using its joystick to turn the camera and it is working very good. Very, very nice, especially with the joystick. In the box, they include this pouch for you to store your stabilizer in there. And yes, it is in there. I'm not sure you guys can see it. I also decided to do two experiments. The first experiment was to see how well your camera stabilizes during running. So here is me with the stabilizer running. And here is me without the stabilizer running. As you can see, that's a huge difference. 
And for our second experiment, we're actually going to go film at a very nice area with a nice scenery. We're also going to eat there and guess where we're going. Welcome to Pavilion Bukit Jaliu. I did not record a proper outro, so here's my outro. Um, overall, I really like this product. It really is going to help me in the long run when I do vlog videos, especially when it comes to shaking the camera. It does a good job at stabilizing that. Now, just remember, the model is a DJI OM4 SE. Now, you can download the app, but it's quite hard to use, so it's best you just use your normal camera and don't use the app. But if you want more features, it's best you download the app through a QR code they have on the box. Overall, good design. I like it. You should buy it. If you want a more serious tutorial, go search out the model or something. Because this video is quite goofy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed.